Yo, what are guys? I'm Sammy, and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my performance review of the New Balance Two Way V4. So the Two Way is a shoe that's made for two way guards, right? And uh, this shoe line from New Balance has been absolutely amazing. It's been the best shoe line that you know they've been offering, in my personal opinion. And it's for a really good price. It's only 120 bucks. And the Kawhi Three. Did you guys see the Kawhi Three? It's 160 bucks, and it's not that nice for performance. I feel like the Two Way is way better. Also, the Fresh Foam BB. Uh, I mean, all the Fresh Foam BBs, they had like a defect, so they kind of recalled it, but it's available again. Um, but yeah, and also they do have the Hezzy Lows, which is kind of like their budget shoe, you know, their new budget shoe line. But anyways, if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave the free link in the description box. Uh, but let's get it started right off with the track Shiones. In this color, we have a mix of herringbone, which is kind of like this solid black rubber outsole. And then for the white, we have kind of like these hexagonal shapes, kind of like a honeycomb a little bit. And we have the New Balance logo here in the middle of the outsole, right? So how's the traction? The traction is really good. Uh, it surprised me because at first it wasn't that nice. You know, I did have to break it in. Like for the like first day or two, it wasn't biting like that well. I mean, it wasn't terrible or anything, but I was just like, oh, I wish it was a little bit better, right? But after a couple of days of playing in it, it broke in nicely. And also it didn't really squeak that much, right? But once I broke it in, it started to squeak a lot more. It's still not super loud as far as the squeak goes. It's not super high pitched, but there is a little bit of a squeak as well once you do break it in. Uh, so yeah, if you're playing on a clean court, once you do break it in, you do have really good stops. I wouldn't say it's top tier, however, right? It's not top tier, but you have really, really solid bites, right? But also it doesn't pick up dust that much, which surprised me, you know what I mean? So it bites through dust very well, and I really didn't find myself wiping that much, right? Comparing to like uh, the KT9 and also the Zion 3, which I was testing with the 2-way V4, I found myself wiping a little bit less here in the 2-way V4, right? So of course that is a good thing. And also if you're playing on an outdoor court i feel like you should be okay it's kind of weird because well you know here where the ball of your foot is that's a highway area you're putting a lot more force right here and also right here and also here in the heel right uh but like the white part this kind of hexagon shape the the rubber is really thin and it's also kind of soft and the herringbone where the black part is is a lot harder so i wish they would have switched it up a little bit you know what i mean but it's still i feel like you should be fine on the outdoor court right the grooves are deep and the rubber is kind of hard for the black part so uh yeah outdoor use you should be okay so overall the traction is pretty dang nice i had a really good time and it's a very consistent bite as well like some shoes are like it doesn't perform very well sometimes and sometimes it performs very well uh depending on the core condition of course right but the 2 av 4 i felt like uh every single time that i played in it once i broke it in it had a really good bite and it was just a really reliable traction right so there is the outsole there moving on to the heel to toe transition very very smooth right so here in the heel we have a nice curve shape we also have this very very soft foam which we'll get into and then here in the forefoot we have a nice curve shape and a good amount of forefoot flex it's not super duper flexible i still need to put a little bit of force into it but uh overall heel to toe transition the shape is very very good and also it's a smooth feeling shoe as well because there is a good amount of compression here in the heel so yeah when you're doing heel dominant strides down the court it feels extremely extremely smooth and also it doesn't really bend in the midfoot at also torsional support is really good in the shoe too and now moving on to the cushioning setup so we have a, a dual it's not a dual density oh i guess it kind of is but we have two types of foam in the shoe right and it says here in the bottom of the shoe right so it says this black foam right if you look right here it says fuel cell and then this white foam it says it's fresh foam right so we have fresh foam for the white part and fuel cell for the black part so here in the heel, we have a good amount of compression. It's soft, it's comfortable. I really, really like it. There is a little bit of a bounce, right? It's not super bouncy or anything like that, especially comparing to, I don't know, I've been playing the Zion 3 with the two-way V4 and the Zion 3 feels a lot more bouncy, you know, with the Formula 23 and the zoom unit that's bottom loaded in the forefoot. However, there's still a nice little subtle bounce to it. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, here in the heel, it feels great. Here in the forefoot, it feels pretty nice as well. Step and comfort isn't that great, however, right? So we have this insole. And the insole is all right. You know, it's, it's just a regular insole, nothing crazy. And, and here in the heel, it's a very stiff strobo board. If you look in the heel, there's a there's a stitching. There's like a rectangle stitching cutout thing going on. And so I was like, oh, maybe it's something soft, but it doesn't really feel any, any different. <laughs> you know what I mean? So step and comfort isn't that nice. I wish New Balance would use like a softer strobe board, you know, like a soft mesh strobe board or something like that, or maybe like a little bit of a cutout, like what with what Adidas does in like the Harden Volume 7, you know, there's a little, there's a pretty large circle cutout 
here in the heel for the Hardens, you know, the Harden Volume 7. But anyway, so Step and Comfort is all right. It's kind of stiff, but uh, it's very, very comfortable because the midsole has a lot of compression. Impact protection is really good. The cord feel isn't great, however, right? So here in the forefoot, I would say it's around average, right? Average cord feel. But here in the heel, it actually does get pretty high up off the ground. So there is a nice high offset. Um, which which is fine with me, you know. I, even if I do only have good core feel here in the forefoot, it still feels pretty nice. You know what I mean? And here in the heel, especially when I'm doing heel strikes or heel dominant strikes on the court, the, the foam is actually very very soft. So I don't really mind the worst court feel here in the heel. So overall, cushioning setup is really nice, very very comfortable. Uh, I guess if you're looking for core feel, that's like your main thing. Then obviously this isn't the best option. But I feel like it's a pretty good overall all around cushioning setup. You know what I mean? I just wish the heel was a little bit lower to the ground. It's just weird though because the 2a v2 and also the 2a v3 and also the the two the original one had very good core feel especially here in the heel so i don't know why they made it so thick but it, it is what it is right so there's the cushioning setup there moving on to the upper so we have this mesh material for this black part and then we have synthetic material for this white part you know so i really like this duality right so with the fuel cell the fresh foam the synthetic material mesh they're very very different you know but here in the toe box it, it breaks in really nicely it's super duper soft and with this mesh material it, it seems to have like an underlying material which is very supportive right so it doesn't stretch at all so the, this mesh material uh, with whatever's under underneath this, it has a good amount of support, right? So it's supported here in the toe box. We have a good amount of fuse as well here at the tip of the toe here on the, on the medial side and also on the lateral side. And also it's pretty minimal here in the midfoot too. And for the tongue, we have an average amount of padding, which feels pretty nice. It's also a half booty construction tongue. So yeah, it's a very nice material. It feels very nice on foot, uh, especially here in the toe box with this mesh, right? And here in the ankle area, we have very minimal padding, right? So it's not, it's not super cozy or anything. I guess the the tongue is the only thing that feels kind of cozy. It's more of a minimal feeling upper, right? Uh, so yeah, as far as the uh, quality goes with the synthetic material, and also even with the mesh, it's not the best, you know what I mean? But for 120 bucks and also with the foam that they're giving us, I feel like it's a pretty good trade-off, you know what I mean? So that does make sense. So there is the upper there. Moving on to the fit. So I went up half a size and it fits me pretty well. There is a, just a tiny bit of length, but I feel like if I did go true to size, it would be a little snug like pretty snug for me so going up half a size is actually pretty good for me right and also here in the toe box it is quite snug it's not super duper snug but it is a little snug and also width wise i would say it's like slightly narrower than normal right so uh yeah it's a great fitting shoe for me uh because i did go up half a size so i would suggest most people go up half a size if you don't want a super snug fit if you want a super snug fit probably go true to size uh, but most people go up half a size and if you have a very wide foot probably go up a full size, right? Uh, so there is the fit there, actually fits me pretty dang well. And now moving on to the support and lockdown, I also didn't really have any issues, right? Uh, like I said, this material is actually kind of supportive, or pretty supportive because like when you look at mesh, you know, you, you don't really think support. You know what I mean, you think like super thin, very good ventilation, uh, very minimal stuff like that, right? You don't really think supportive, you know what I mean? So almost, I, I would have even like put the synthetic material right here. You know, or maybe just on the lateral side. But anyways, like I said, we have the, the fuse material, right? So that does stiffen up the upper, and especially here on uh, the lateral side and the forefoot. And uh, so that feels really good. My foot didn't feel like it was coming out of the footbed or anything in the here in the heel. We have the foam coming up acting as a sidewall a lot. And also we have this like plastic thing, right? This is plastic right here. And also there is an internal TPU heel counter, it feels like. So a lot of containment was very good for me. And also a lot of stability is very good, right? You can see how much the outsole and midsole protrude out giving you a very wide base here in the forefoot and this is kind of like a what is this like a low mid you know what i mean uh so it's not gonna provide any type of ankle support right it feels pretty good for ankle mobility for me so uh yeah but overall lockdown i didn't really have any issues with heel slippage or anything like that my foot felt very locked into the shoe when i was playing in it which was very nice right so supporting lockdown was very good and even if you're a bigger dude you should be fine right all right now moving on to the weight of the shoe if i remember correctly it's like it's kind of light, right? That's so 12.1 ounces. Let's check the other shoe. 12.25 ounces. So that's around average, a little bit lighter than average weight. Uh, and that does make sense because the shoe does feel pretty lightweight, right? Especially because of the upper. Uh, but the midsole right here, here, especially here in the heel, does feel a little chunky because 
you know, look, look at all this, right? Especially as far as like on the sides go for the cushion. So it feels a little chunky, a little bottom heavy here in the heel, but for the most part, it's a responsive shoe. It feels lightweight. It's minimal for the upper, traction's good. Uh, so yeah, I felt pretty responsive and quick playing in this. Also, it's a very comfortable shoe because of the foam, right? The cushion is super soft. So and now moving on to the ventilation. Uh, you would think there's good airflow through this mesh, but like I said, there is an underlying material. So there's not a lot of airflow. And uh, it's a very like a pretty thin material, but like I said, not a lot of airflow. So it's uh, it's on the warmer side of things. It's not super cool. It's not super hot. Uh, I would say it's around average for ventilation. And moving on to the aesthetics. I love it. This shoe looks absolutely amazing. There's a lot of colorways available as well, right? But this is definitely my favorite. You guys remember the Curry 2 suit and tie? It's kind of like the opposite of that, but I love this duality, especially with the materials and the foam. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, yeah. The two-way V4, I mean, New Balance is, is still killing it with the two-way line and this is an amazing shoe zach levine plays in this shoe right and uh yeah uh this is is more geared towards guards of course right but it has a little bit more cushion than what most guards would like i feel like right especially here in the heel but if you want that you know like i said it's not super soft it doesn't feel mushy or anything it just feels comfortable and really good for impact protection so if you need that then this is an amazing shoe traction is very nice consistent um and the opera is very minimal it's a lightweight shoe it's a responsive shoe as well uh so yeah also if you're a bigger dude you should be fine you know support's great cushion is very soft and comfortable too so even if you're a bigger dude i feel like you would enjoy this shoe as well so yeah i really thoroughly enjoyed playing in the shoe is it one of my favorites not it's not one of my favorites however right i definitely feel like there are other shoes that i like a little bit better but i definitely did enjoy playing in the shoe a lot so anyways that about concludes my review of the two-way v4 again if you guys want to cop a try to leave the link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one